Pinkies have a special sign I happen to discover They have three fingers in the air And flash it to each other They send their greetings to you They sing them and they shout But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out But if you meet a fixie Please don't let their secret out the Marshmallow. <laughs> Fixies, why are you so sad? Christmas is just around the corner. Maybe it'll be a lot of fun for you, but not for us. Why is that? Mossy and Papus had a quarrel. Over what? Every year, we've got to repair those string lights. Oh, yeah, it's awful. Christmas is almost here, and there's still so much work to be done. What do you think of that? <laughs> and this! <laughs> here you are. You don't hear the phone ring, you don't answer messages, and we have string lights that aren't working right. We need help. Papus, can't you give us a few more minutes? You said that an hour ago. Haven't you wasted enough time? We are not wasting time! Look at the camera! What? Loop. <laughs> <laughs> Got one of Masia? Look! <laughs> there you are. So, having a good time? Um, we were just about to leave and... You can stay right here. I've already done everything myself. You obviously have more important things to take care of. Uh, uh. So you left me over there, by myself, working my tail off, just so you can play? Where are you going? To relax. Oh, yeah? Fine with me. So now don't panic, Nolik. We'll get your parents to forget. I, I mean, to forgive each other. How? My dad always says that the way to a woman's heart is to give flowers and candy. And where are we going to find flowers right now? Oh, we'll make them out of marshmallows. People are always trying to improve recipes. The French used an ancient Egyptian mallow root recipe to create the marshmallow, a fluffy mm. dessert that can decorate a cake or be roasted on an open fire. In Russia, pureed fruit and berries were mixed with egg whites and sugar and then whipped together to create their own fluffy dessert, zephyr. Some ingredients have changed over the years, but mm. these old desserts are still popular. What will they think of next? <laughs> We're gonna set him up on a date. <laughs> Masia is calling for you. It's urgent. Tom Thomas's uh, monitor isn't working. I thought she handles everything herself now. Papu, you're always so kind and love helping others. Come on. <sighs> All right. No, no, and no. I'm relaxing, I told you. But Tom Thomas won't have time to make his mom's car if you don't go. And then she'll end up without a present. Fine, I'll go. But I'm only going for his mom's sake. Sweets aren't just for eating. They can also be used to decorate a Christmas table. For instance, it's very easy to make this Christmas tree out of marshmallows. Make a row of marshmallows at the bottom of a plate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The second row has six of them. The third row, five. Then there's four, three, two, and a special one on top. Add breadsticks at the bottom as a trunk and sprinkle the plate with some sweet confetti. There, it's ready. With the help of some little cookie cutters, it's possible to make hearts and snowflakes out of marshmallows. Or you could make a reindeer. Put a candy cane through a marshmallow, use sugar beads for eyes and a nose, and pretzels for antlers. Beautiful, right? Merry Christmas! Hmm. I don't get what's going on. The monitor's working. What did you call me for? Uh, I didn't call. Hmm. And you've got nothing for me to do here. No. 
Oh, then I guess you came to apologize? Uh, no. You know what? I have had enough. Uh, well... Huh? What's it say? For Masya? Uh... For me? Yeah, for you. <laughs> That's so sweet. I hope you can forgive me for yelling at you. I'm just tired. No, I should apologize. It was bad of me to leave you alone. And where are the children? It's almost Christmas. There you are. Come here. Papa, <laughs> Masya! <laughs> oh, my sweetie. <laughs> yeah. Hooray! Hooray! Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas! The heart. Where's my packet? It's not here either. I think my head's got a screw loose. Why are you throwing your stuff around? Oh, because I got a real problem. What is it? I can't decide which club I should pick. Johnny signed up for robotics, and Katya's going to be in chess. You call that a problem? Go with Johnny. And why not Katya? Uh, uh, uh. Then go with chess. But they don't have robots. My mom told me I should listen to my heart. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> I found it. See you. Gotta go. Nolik. Simka can tell you. She knows everything. The heart is the main pump of a living organism. It's a unique muscular organ with a multitude of blood vessels attached to it. The main function of the heart is to continuously move blood throughout the body. The human heart pumps about six liters of blood every minute, even though this pump is not that large. Make a fist. Your heart is about the same size as that. To make sure your heart stays healthy, you need to strengthen it with plenty of exercise and a healthy diet. Nolik, please come help me. Why me? Tool is stronger. Huh? Interesting. And do you know what is meant by the word heartlessness? Well, I think it's uh, some kind of human illness. May I? Tula. Heartlessness is when a human or a fixie leaves someone who has a problem behind. Huh? Thank you very much, young man. Uh, I mean young fixie. Heartlessness, does it last forever? Of course not. We just need to help one another more often. Uh-huh. Uh, uh. Ah! Tom Thomas, my friend! Here I am. How are you? How am I? Why do you care? Oh, by the way, I found out how you can listen to your heart. You need this tube. It's called a stethoscope. A stethoscope? But I don't have one. That's what I'm for. <laughs> that thing is way too tiny. Hmm. Ah, your mom must have one. Oh, yeah. Well? It's beating. Loudly. And what is it saying to you? Not a word. And now? It's beating. Huh? What was that? <laughs> this is just absurd. A heart can't talk. You know what? Why don't you just try again? Tom Thomas. <gasps> Who is that? It's your heart talking. Boom, boom. Can you hear me? Uh-huh. I believe that robotics is right for you. Uh, and what about chess? Who cares about chess? Robots are way cooler. This voice reminds me of someone. Heh, <laughs> so that's what you look like, my itty-bitty heart. Well, I did it from the bottom of my heart. When a human is at rest, his heart beats between 60 and 100 times per minute. This rhythm is called the pulse rate. Place two fingers on your wrist or your neck. Can you hear it? Boom, boom. 
boom, boom. You can count the beats. When you're sleeping, your pulse slows down. But when you get excited, run, or get worried or afraid, your heart begins to beat faster and pumps the blood harder. Sometimes it feels like it's beating so fast that people say, oh, my heart is going to jump out of my chest. But don't be afraid, it's not going anywhere. And when people say, listen to your heart, they don't mean that your heart can talk. It means that you should trust yourself and listen to your feelings. And then you'll definitely find the answer you're looking for. Looks like at the end of the day, I'm heartless. I couldn't help my friend at all. No, Lick, but you helped. You really did. I finally figured out which club I want to join. Robotics, like I told you? Not that. I want to learn medicine. The detective. All right, yeah, that is. Wasn't it great that we got to stay after class and watch that movie together? Yeah, that film was great. That detective, what a guy. He figured out exactly who did it. Ooh. Solving a crime is not easy at all. But it looks like a lot of fun. Ugh, I think it would be so cool to go solve a crime. <gasps> Where's my lucky screwdriver? I can't do anything without it. Here we go. This could be the crime of the century. Detective Nolik, are you ready? But we are not. There's no escaping our fate, colleague. Our time has come. In order to become a detective or an investigator, you need to be very attentive and astute. Because detectives solve mysteries, find missing things, and detangle the most twisted cases. For instance, who ate the whole cake without permission? A real detective will notice the minor details right away. Crumbs under the sofa, a trail of paw prints across the room. By following the clues, a real detective will easily discover the thief. All right. It's time for us to figure out who stole the screwdriver. And the screwdriver, don't we need to find it? Not now. First, let's find the thief. Oh, look at that. It's Digit. Digit? Huh? Why are you back at the laboratory? Our school classes are over. I want to talk to the professor. I came up with the coolest thing to make. What cool thing? It's a secret. That's a bit hard to believe. All right now, suspect. What were you doing after school? What do you mean, suspect? There must be some mix-up here. You're trying to dodge the question? You want to change the subject on me? That's it. I'm leaving. No screwdriver, no experiments. Well... You want to take over for you, genius, and that's why you stole his lucky screwdriver. You're under arrest. The main qualities of a detective are intelligence and logic. Logic is an ancient science that teaches people to think with reason, to help them solve problems, puzzles, and riddles. Do you want to feel what it's like to be a real detective? Then try to figure out what I'm describing to you. I'm thinking of an animal that you can meet at home or on the street. It has a tail and it's long. You have any guesses? A dog, a cat, or a mouse? Uh-huh, there's not enough information yet. But what if I add that it meows and sleeps all day long? Then the answer is clear. A detective works the same way. He collects the facts, decides what's important, gets rid of what's not, and only then figures out the right answer. Understand? Then you're ready for another puzzle. Tell me, who doesn't belong here? Are you gonna talk? <laughs> what funny mustaches you got there. Oh, it's a party, right? Mm-hmm. They arrested me. Is this a game you're playing? <laughs> You believe that a lucky object can bring good fortune, now don't you? Well, yeah. And what? Now it's clear. You helped Digit steal Eugenius's lucky screwdriver. Yeah, because you like lucky stuff. Arrest her. Tula, how long do I have to wait? Sipka, you gotta see this. We caught the criminals who stole the screwdriver from the professor. Cool, huh? Just awesome. Let's go, Tula. She stays here, under arrest. Yeah, I got it. Come on, let's go. We're not joking around. Oh, 
And exactly what proof do you have? What proof do I have? Well, uh... Just what I thought. You have nothing, Fire. She's their partner, of course! Nolik, arrest her at once! What did she do wrong? It's insane. Now do what I said. I won't do it! Ah, you're with them. Stand with the crooks over there. Hey, we're partners, aren't we? Now wait a second. I'm wondering if you were the thief. Me? Yes. Right. It's not me, I swear. I'm a detective. Ah, Nolik, please tell him. You put it away? In the warehouse? Oh, Elisa, I've told you a hundred times. Please, don't touch my mess. Uh, appears I was a bit off track. You'd have been better off looking for the screwdriver, detectives. That's what I told you. All right, we'll look for a new tactic to use on our next case. What do you mean on your next case? Where's my lucky soldering iron? So, Detective Nolik, shall we begin? <laughs> the star. And so, this is our solar system, and it consists of... Friends, you're not going to believe it. I found... <laughs> I discovered an unknown star. That is superb, Kali. Yeah. And today, journalists will visit the laboratory for an interview. Who's going to be interviewed? If you weren't late, you'd know that. I had to do my hair. They're here. Everyone hide. There are lots of galaxies in the universe with billions of hot glowing spheres that everybody knows as stars. Stars are each born out of huge clouds of gas and dust that are called nebulas. We see stars in the sky as tiny dots, but that's only because they are very, very far away. The closest star to our planet is the sun. Even though the sun isn't the hugest star, it still gives us the heat and light we need to live. Professor Eugenius is a celebrity now, on a global scale. Yeah. Hey, did you see? Verda also got on the cover. No joke. Where? <gasps> And I think we look pretty good together. So, who wants my autograph? <laughs> we'll have to wait till after school. Uh, it's time to go. Hey, aren't you going? Not right now. My colleague and I have more important business. What colleague? The professor. Both of us have become celebrities. Verda, you got on that cover totally by accident. Uh, 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 somebody's jealous. <laughs> Well, we've got our new star. <laughs> now, what should I name it? A uh, colleague? Huh? Why don't you name the new star Verda? After all, it does sound pretty. Verda, Verda, hmm. Like a vertex whirling around. <laughs> That's a great idea. It's a shame you didn't get my autograph, because that new star now has my name, Verda. <laughs> And now an elaborate celebration needs to be thrown in my honor. I mean, mine and the professor's, of course. What celebration are you talking about? With a red carpet and flowers? Why are you just standing there? Make it happen! The poor girl thinks she's a star. Absolutely. So what can we do about it? With lunatics, it's better not to argue. That's what I read. Then <laughs> let's play your silly game. Your Majesty. Your red carpet awaits. Then unroll it. And the flowers? Am I supposed to do everything myself? Of course not. Here, Your Highness, your crown. All right, now we're talking. I am a star. She's totally lost it. Mm-hmm. He's coming. Finally, finally, my dream is reality. Hi! Ah, oh, my little fixie friends, it's you here. I'm so honored you gathered here to congratulate me today. <laughs> us? Yes, us, them, we. We all should celebrate. No, I mean you and I. <laughs> now show us what you're carrying. Uh, of course, the certificate. It says this star discovered by Professor Eugenius has been registered with the name 
VE03732. What? Oh. <laughs> That's what we should start calling our big star from now on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's so funny? A clear night is perfect for searching in the sky for constellations. The easiest one to find is the Great Bear or the Big Dipper, which looks like a soup ladle. If you draw a line through the two outside stars of the Big Dipper, you'll find the bright North Star, which is part of a constellation called the Little Bear or the Little Dipper. A bit further is the W-shaped Cassiopeia. And these three stars that are next to each other are well known as the Belt of Orion. If you draw a line through them, you'll find a star named Sirius. It's part of the Greater Dog constellation, and it's the brightest star in the night sky. And on the other side of it, there is the star Aldebaran of the constellation Taurus. And these are but a few of the most visible stars. It's not even possible to imagine how many stars there really are in the universe. Tula? I'm here. Fire. Here. VE73032? Is that someone new? Yeah, we've got a new student. She's a star. A new giant star. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. The virus. Johnny, you lose. You want to race him again? We can't. We just finished the last level. Oh, we were just getting started. Wait a second. Let's see what it says here. Congratulations. Your prize is a smartphone and a collection of brand new levels to race. All right. Class, click on it. It's not smart to just click on random buttons. Hmm. There's nothing to worry about. Whoa. Hey, what's going on? Someone messed with the numbers. There you go. Didn't I warn you guys? Do you think it might have been Johnny? Johnny! Of course! He got upset that we won, so he put on the cap of invisibility. Then he snuck into the room and deleted everything from the computer. Stop! What are you talking about? A cap of invisibility. This has nothing to do with Johnny at all. Looks like you got a virus. Then we need to get Tom Thomas' mom in here. What for? Isn't it obvious? She's a doctor. She'll get rid of this virus in no time. That won't work. Quit it. A computer with a virus isn't treated like that. A doctor won't be able to help here, especially a dentist like your mother. Then who can help us? You need special software for that. Antivirus! A computer virus is a destructive computer program. It can not only delete or steal important information, but completely destroy your computer. And the scariest thing about this virus is that it spreads very quickly and can infect the other computers on the network. Very much like a human illness. To find and stop these viruses, you need to use an antivirus program. Antivirus programs also protect computers against new infections. And by the way, your dad's computer uses antivirus software. And mine doesn't have it? No, you won't let anyone near your computer. You never have any time. Dad, let's do it later, okay? I've got to finish one more round. It'll only take a minute. Oh, look at that. The virus is starting to wipe out everything now. That means this computer will disappear. And this room, too. And, and all of us. Stop, stop. Quit panicking. We have to save the computer right away. Tom Thomas, your dad has a box with antivirus software. Bring it. Games, music, cartoons. There are so many interesting things on the internet, but just like in the physical world, you have to follow some rules when you're online. 
First, you should only visit websites that you know. Sometimes a destructive virus could be hiding behind a pretty picture, and there are plenty of scammers on the internet. That's why you should never give anybody you don't know well your address or send an SMS so you can download a free game. If you happen to get a letter or a text from a stranger, you should show it to your parents right away. Only communicate with people that you know. And don't just sit all day playing on the internet. There's still nothing better than going outside and playing with friends in the fresh air. should only be installed by an adult. Otherwise, your parents will figure out you got help from Fixies. Sorry about that. All done. And here comes my dad. Dad, will you install this on my computer, please? You need it right away? How about a bit later? No, we can't keep putting it off. There you go. Now your computer is protected. How come you became so responsible all of a sudden? Oh, Dad, you don't know what kind of viruses are out there roaming the net. You're so right. The Pyramid. Tom Thomas, can I open my eyes? Not yet. Hurry, will ya? That's it. I'm ready for the contest. Ta-da! Wait, that's a pastry. This is a pastry, Nolik, but this is an Egyptian pyramid. Oh, wow. Doesn't it look just like an anthill? Sure does. I remember when Grandpoos told us that inside of those is a labyrinth and a mummy of a sparrow. No, a pharaoh. The Egyptian pyramids are simply amazing ancient structures. The biggest one of them is the Great Pyramid of Cheops. It's more than 4,000 years old and over 100 meters tall like a 40-story building. How it was possible to build such a giant way back then is still a mystery. There were no hoisting cranes in those days. Some people believe that the pyramids were built by aliens, but I have a feeling that they couldn't have been built without the Fixies' help. So, is there a labyrinth in there? Of course. Show me. You joking? I just put it together for the contest. No way I'm gonna break this apart. Hey, isn't that a way in? Where are you going? I'm just gonna look at the labyrinth. And the mummy. Mummy, what are you talking about? Well, which way now? Stop, you'll get lost. I won't get lost. So, I think I'll go this way. And then this way. Come back, Nolik. I was already here. And I was here. Oh. 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 I did get lost. You were right. What? Hey there. Do you know where Nolik is? In there. He went mummy hunting, and he got lost. Mummy? Whoa! A real one? Class! Don't! Nolik! Yoo-hoo! Are you in here? No! Then where? Who knows? Who builds labyrinths like this anyway? Hey, nobody asked you to go in my labyrinth. Who are you talking to in there? Digit, Fire and Nolik are inside, and I need to go to school now. Nolik! Fire! Well, I, for one, have never gotten lost in a labyrinth because I know the rule for getting out. You need to always keep your hand on the wall. I can find them for you. Where are you guys? Over here! <laughs> I forgot which of these walls I was touching with my hand. Did you find him? No, and I got myself completely lost in here. Tom Thomas, you've got school today, don't you? Yeah, I do. Only I got a pyramid full of fixies. <laughs> it's like an anthill. Mm-hmm. The first one wanted to go mummy hunting. The second one went looking for the first one. And the third for both. We're lost in here! And I've got school to get to. Wait, maybe you could just try to shake them out. Good idea! <laughs> <laughs> Joking! <laughs> you have 
string? Watch. This way you don't get lost. When you're going on a trip, think about how to keep from getting lost and how to find your way back. Don't just rely on maps and the GPS in your phone. Take a compass with you. It will show you the cardinal directions without needing phone service. You can also find north and south by looking at the sun, stars, or even an anthill in the woods. Take a good look. The slope that's gentler faces south, and the one that's steeper faces to the north. And if you find yourself walking through a labyrinth, don't get lost. Just walk with one hand always touching the wall, and eventually you'll get out. Another way to get through a labyrinth is to tie a rope at the entrance and unreel it along the way. Then, you can follow its path back out. Here's the first one. And the second. And no look. Oh! Mommy, is it alive? It's me, Nolik! Uh. <laughs> but I couldn't find yours! That's because there's none in there! What? You mean I got lost in there for nothing? You were in such a hurry, you didn't listen to what I said! But without a mummy, how can you win? Oh, then maybe you could be my mummy! No, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> Well, did you win a prize? Uh-huh. My pyramid won. And here's a special extra prize for being the only one of us who knew how to get out of the labyrinth. Again? Another box of those pastries? That's fine with me. I really love them. They're awesome. I wish Fixies ate food. What a shame. Then I'll give some to your mommy. <laughs> Please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fixie, please don't let their secret out.